Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I am back with the other video. Today I am going to talk about that allowing the traffic from some other pod in the other namespace using QMDIS networking policies. In this networking policy recipe, I am going to combine that pod selector as well as the namespace selector using AND operations. In this fold diagram, I am creating the different types of namespace. The namespace are designed basically to isolate that environment from each other. The default namespace I am going to deploy with the Nginx application. Also I am enable the label called app equal to web. In other namespace I am going to deploy with one of the pod. I can assigning the label equal to type equal to monitor. The particular pod can able to communicating with the default namespace. Because of that I am allowing the pod selector and the name selector so that you can each communicating each other. In other pod cannot able to communicating because of I am without mentioning that labeling. So in this case, so the one of the pod only can able to communicating other than that cannot able to communicating. So we'll see on that in the manifesting file for next slide. Manifest with and condition. In this networking policy, it be containing the namespace selector and the pod selector. Namespace selector is used to filter the resource based on the namespace labeling. The pod selector is used to grouping of the pod using the labeling selectors. One of the easiest way to identify the AND condition or OR condition if iPhone is present in the pod selector before that it will be the OR condition if it does not present it will be considered as the AND condition in our case this is the AND condition if you see the next slide here the pod selector before the iPhone is there so this is the OR condition under the specs pod selector the matching label we are associated with the app equal to web so we are going to deploy the one of the engineers application under the default namespace we are allocating that labeling called app equal to web so this particular stage is be considered as the target environment from the ingress rule we are creating the two selector the first one is the namespace selector the other one is the pod selector even the namespace selector also we are associated with the labeling called teams equal to operations if any of the namespace will be containing the labeling with the matching with the same thing then only the condition will be considered as the true the pod selector that any one of the pod it be containing the same labeling value then only the condition will be true so the, in this case the both condition should be matched then only that we are able to assess the engineer's application but in our condition that namespace or either the pod selector the either of the condition should be the true then we are also able to assess that engineer's application right now i am at that virtual studio code so the entire source code i am storing into my repo so if you want you can check it out my repo i am given the link below so you can see this the various recipes be there so right now i am working on that specific recipe so that i am going to click that and manifest.yml file so in this file i am creating the two namespace the first namespace i am going to create the test namespace but it does not containing the label the second namespace I am creating with that labeling. So the label name called test equal to operation. The next one is that, that networking policy. Even the networking policy also I am creating that default namespace. So we already discussed about the ingress rule so that I am going to move to that readme file. So the readme file will be containing the list of commands so that we can go executing by one by one into the terminal. Also, I am putting the R manifest YAML file also. So this particular thing is more or less similar only. The only different is the iPhone. So the entire operation we are going to executing the terminal. Right now I am at the terminal. Already I am cloning my code from the repo. So also I am switched over to my specific directory. So just I am executing the LL command. Yeah, this manifest will be present in my current directory. First I am going to executing the and manifest.yml file. So I am using the kubectl cuddle command. So I am just I am entered that. Yeah, now the policy is successfully created as well as that namespace. So then I am going back to my readme file. So now I am going to create the ingenious applications. Also expose that cluster IP. Just I copy that command, just I paste it into my terminal. Enter it. Yeah, now the pod is created as well as the service. So then I move back to my readme file. Next one, I'm going to assess the engineer's application from the 
test namespace. Let's see whether we are able to accessible or not. Just I'm copying that line number six command. Here I entered that. Now I am at that pod terminal. Just I'm copying the duplicate command. So in this command, I'm trying to assess that my Nginx application. Yeah, I am enter it. Yeah, right now is a timeout actually. So our policy is working perfectly. So I'm coming out from the terminal. So again, I'm going to assess with that other namespace in the prod. But in this case here, we are not allocating that any namespace. So just I copy the command, enter thing. Here I'm enter that command here. Yeah, now I'm at the pod terminal. So same thing, I can use the duplicate command here also. Just I'm given the entering need here. Yeah, here also is a timeout because of that, even that other namespace, but that, that we are not providing the labeling. That was the reason only our networking policy will be rejected. So I come out from that in the terminal also. So right now I'm going to create that one of the pod along with that labeling also here. Just try and copy that here. Just try and paste it here. Yeah, now I'm at the, the pod terminal. Again, I can copy the duplicate command. Now I enter it. Yes, I'm able to assess the engineer's applications. The specific namespace and uh, also the labeling we are providing, that was the reason only we were able to assess the engineer's application. Next one, we will be see on the R condition. But before executing the R condition networking policy, I'm going to delete that my AND condition networking policy. So I'm going to delete the existing networking policy. So kubectl delete network policy. Just try copying the existing name here. Just try and paste it here. Yeah, we successfully deleted the existing networking policy. So just time we stored the directory here. Then I am applying the R manifesting file with using the kubectl command. Now we have successfully created the namespace policy. Now I am going to check with whether the namespace policy is created or not. Just I'm executing the kubeget networking policy command. Yeah. So the policy is be there. So then I go back to my readme file. I'm going to copy that line number 10 command because either of the condition should be matched whether it be label or namespace. So I'm going to copy it here. Then I'm pasting into my terminal. Yeah, and now I'm the pod at the terminal. Just I'm copying the duplicate command. Just I paste it here. Yes, I can able to assess the engineer's application. As I said, no, this either of the condition will be matched, then if we are able to assess the application. Yeah, I hope this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.